Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I've cracked the boot open. The boot? Today I've cracked the bonnet open on the car because I'm doing some actual mechanic work. And if my mechanic skills on bikes is anything to go by, I think this video is gonna be literally insane. So before I even get into what's happening here, I'm just gonna preface the fact that half of the clips I filmed, I deleted by accident, because I didn't put them on my hard drive and then formatted my SD card. So I've had to do this whole intro again, the whole outro again, and I also deleted all the cutaways from this camera um, whilst filming, fitting this part. I've tried to work around that. But anyway, the point of this video is Darkside Developments, which is a tuning company that basically tunes diesel VAG cars, have sent me this sick induction kit, which is actually on there at the moment. They've also sent me an intercooler, which will fit on this car, which I'm hoping to do for another video if you guys liked watching me fit this. From there, you can sort of step up and tune your car quite heavily if you've got these two mods on there already which is something we'll possibly look into in the future but i don't know let me know what you guys think hoping to make the car sound pretty sick once it's on basically just going to jump straight into fitting this thing it's a pretty funny video so let's get into it okay so it started getting dark pretty quickly but Let's carry on. What we need to do now is get this math sensor off, which is pretty annoying. Cause you gotta, oh no, there we go. Pop that, get that off. So math sensor's off, which means we can pull this tube out and then actually remove this math sensor block here, which we're gonna need for that. That can just live there for now. Then I've actually undone all the bolts needed to take all this off already so it doesn't take ages. What I'm gonna do now is just take this top half off. So there's your original air filter. Then what you would do if this was yours is undo loads of bolts, which were all like here, there was one back there, and then this here. But I've luckily undone all that already. So we're gonna get this cold air feeding pipe out she need to like yank ow that hurts so much anyway we've popped that off so get that out that can live down there that's the bottom half of the stock air box so then we're gonna remove this and that is what air comes through here feeds through here into this zone. What we need to do now is figure out where everything needs to go. I'm actually gonna need a part that was on here, which is that. The tricky part now is deciding what's gonna be the quickest and easiest way to get everything on with the least faff. I reckon I'm gonna put that back on for now. That's loose. I actually don't have any bolts for that, annoyingly, but with the pressure of that pushing on it, it stays in place anyway. So I reckon actually what I'm gonna do is attach this in here already, wedge that in somehow, proving to be quite difficult. No, yeah, it is that way around, isn't it? Yeah, because this is gonna live there, basically. And then that goes like that oh it might actually be hard to do it that way around that's where there's a bit of an issue yeah that's really difficult to fit maybe if i go in like that yeah there we go all right got it in so now i've got the task which is actually a really tasky task of trying to go in i actually don't know if that's going to be possible that's difficult what i think i should do is actually attach all of this already because that's going to be so difficult otherwise we need to put this little tube here onto the actual filter itself bit weird to get on but you just give it a nice twist a thon then and this actually gets attached onto this heat shield in the pack if you are to buy this thing you get given these little bolts with a nut quite simply actually this just goes in here like 
don't do that though, dream. And you're gonna wanna hold the inside with a 10 and get another 10 and do it up. Cool, so that's one side of that done. Let me go and get the other bolt. Just get that. Oh, don't drop it deep within the car. Hold it again. Almost done. So now we've got the MAF sensor tube attached to the heat guard and you'll slowly see how this is coming together. That bit of tubing basically just slots on there and it will hold downwards like this. Get given one of these Jubilee clips, grab your Scrooge. Okay, so my head mount camera actually just ran out of SD space. We've lost this angle up here, so I've brought the actual camera in a bit closer, but that's gonna run out of space too. So I've got to try and bomb this on really, really quickly. Like this is literally in. I can just, please, please. It's like really bendy. It should just be able to. Okay, finally got that on. That was such a faff. It's all on. We're just missing one bolt back here, so it's a bit loose there, but otherwise everything's on real nicely. It fits so insane, which is sick. Let's give it a start up now, which is the main thing that we all want to hear. That's so sick. Oh, what a beast. So then, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me fit this insane dark side induction kit on this car. If you wanna check out their website, links in the description, they've got loads of stuff you can actually buy for your car. It doesn't have to be specifically this Skoda. They do all sorts of stuff for Volkswagen, Skoda, and Seat. And there's some other stuff on there as well that you might be interested in. So yeah, have a look at their page if you wanna get your car tuned up a little bit. Definitely go to them. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's nothing like the usual sort of biking content that me and Sam generally do. But if you enjoyed me fitting that, think about me taking off this whole bumper and replacing this tiny, tiny intercooler in there with a sick massive one, which I'll put a photo on the screen right now what it looks like. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one, which should actually be a review of an electric scooter, which is gonna be so funny. Hopefully gonna do it with Brendan, get a few bowl clips. It's actually just gonna be the best thing ever. See you then.